What is up, YouTube? Religious, blah, blah. Religious Jedi here. Uh, yeah, it's been a long time since I've done a Pokemon match. Uh, I don't know what to say about myself. I mean, I did a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, junk, uh, hot, like, thingy majig playthrough, but whatever. Uh, any case, in any ways, this is a match against Temp Red. Uh, are you match? Uh, before I go on, I have some great news regarding my life. Um, well, not really big shit, but, um,. First off, uh, I got nominated as a moderator on Smogon, so yeah, that's pretty awesome. I am now moderator on, on Wi-Fi Forum, so uh, don't fuck around there. Otherwise, I might find you. <laughs> uh, second good piece, uh, good news, is uh, I'm all set for nat nationals. So uh, yeah, so if you're going to a national Pokemon national tournament in uh, Indianapolis, I'll see you there. I'll see if I bring along a giant Pikachu. Uh, okay, so let's get into the match. Uh, you saw the matchups right there. Uh, he, uh, Temp Red, found him on uh, Smog on my, uh, Smog on Battle Finder. Uh, he leads off with Clefable while I go with uh, Drapion. And uh, yeah, I didn't feel like speeding it up. I mean, the match was pretty short, but still very, very entertaining. Some good predictions on both sides. Uh, anyways, uh, Drapion, Manton, uh, with a choice band, Crunch, that took out half. So, yeah, uh, Drapion is a badass. You know, I, I didn't really use him back in the uh, 4th gen. So to have an opportunity to use him here, yeah, pretty awesome. Uh, I don't know why he went out to Uxie. Probably didn't expect uh, me to stay in or anything, I don't know. I don't know what he was thinking right there. Won't judge because I get a free, uh, you know, I'm up now 6-5. He may have set up the rocks, but... Um, nothing on my team, as you saw, really is affected by it. I design, you know, I, I really hate rocks, so... And I usually never pack the spinner. That's a bad thing about me. Uh, but I gotta digress, blah. Uh, anyways, uh, he goes into Sceptile, Nerf Quake, great beyond that very nice, uh, defense of his, helps it out. And a crunch again. I'm hoping for the one-hit KO with Life Orb, but no, it survives with a sliver. And I figure, okay, he's probably gonna do Earthquake again, so let's go out to uh, Miltank, who can uh, wall. And yeah, I love that nickname too. I mean, that bitch Whitney is, I don't know, she just, she's a bitch. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I thought it was gonna do Earthquake, but he predicted, I guess he predicted that, or you know, Brick Break was, well, I would've died either way. But yeah, it was my, he got a good chunk off of Miltank, but of course Miltank, being a fat cow, uh, survives it. <laughs> oh, Hitmonchan, we can't stay in on this. Now, I have Rotom, as you saw, or, you know, Slowking. So I figured, okay, uh, Slowking might be the better choice. I mean, what if he doesn't go for Drain Punch? Which should, I don't know, I don't know what I was thinking. I just figured Slowking would be better. I have Psychic on it. Don't want, uh, Hitmonchan to do a lot of damage to my Rotom. I figured it'd be probably one of the best things to use, especially with uh, Cofagrigus still around. And uh, so yeah, in case three fell, fell. He packs a Thunder Punch. That Iron Fist boosted, Life Orb boosted. Thunder Punch is gonna hurt, but Edward survives with nine HP. He gets, I though he gets paralyzed. I'm just crossing my fingers. No para hacks. I don't. And Psychic will do a good chunk, not enough for a KO. And I was debating whether to leave, uh, to have Edward around, but I figured, uh, I may have Heal Bell on Mill Tank, but it's pretty much pointless to save Edward. I mean, sure, I have Regenerator. Better to, uh, get something in here that can, uh, KO it real quick. And I don't know why, I was thinking Rotom couldn't outspeed a Hitmonchan, which is stupid. I know. Stupid of me. So I'm going to the Spartan Gallade. And I figure, okay, uh, Shadow Sneak should do it. Should do the trick. He switches out to go Fagrigus, though. And, uh, well, you know, Shadow Sneak won't do a bunch. I mean, go Fagrigus has massive defense and pretty good HP. Mummy's gonna ruin my Justified. It's not like I was gonna take advantage of it. Because. I don't think he had any Dark-type moves on any of his Pokemon. 
So, um, we don't want to stay in on this thing because Shadow Ball's gonna hurt. And I don't want to set up. So I go into Goldilocks, otherwise known as Steelix. And yeah, Steelix, yeah, badass. Probably the most badass Pokemon from Johto, a region that sucks. Kind of ironic if you see three Johto Pokemon in this team, though, huh? But as you see, Goldilocks took that Shadow Ball like a boss. And she's spinning around in circles and circles, leftovers, recovery. And you see, she's out right here. Out to uh, Rotom. Oh. And that thing, that demented uh, lawnmower is not a fun sight to see block. So I set up Self Rock, so, you know, pretty much everything else is gonna, you know, him on Chan should die, but it should die. We'll just say that. Uh, so he goes over here with uh, Hidden Power. I think it was Fire. Maybe, ha mayhaps, Fire, HP Fire. Most likely, probably HP. I mean, I don't know. I didn't find out. Regardless, uh, Dragon Tail is awesome. I love the, the animation. I can just see it, that, that massive Steelix tail whacking a lawnmower in the face. Uh, Clefable comes in. He does a uh, Grass Knot. And it is not enough to KO me while I just whack another Dragon Tail at this annoying fairy. So in comes Kofarik, I guess. Uh, not a good idea to stay in. I don't know what else he has. Oh no, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure this thing has HP fighting. I mean, uh, what is it? Ghost and uh, fighting. That's perfect coverage right there. In, in any tier, pretty much. So I figure, heck, let's go out to Rotom. Take the HP fighting. Now, no. Well, it is gonna take HP fighting. Hold on. I'm going. I'm getting ahead of myself, huh? Blah. That myself. So as you see, Rotom didn't take any damage, and I figured, okay, I could do Shadow Ball, but that's kind of risky because he still has Rotom, and I have Choice Spec. So let's do the reasonable thing. Everyone loves Volt Switch, or you know that strategy known as Volt Turn. I may not have U Turn on any Pokemon in here, but you know Volt uh, Volt Switch is pretty awesome. I think this is the first time I've ever used Volt Switch, but it indeed paid off because I KO'd that Glavivol. Uh, uh, so I go ahead and drape you on with the Volt Switch, and, um, well, yeah, I, I, I thought I could use it as fodder, but as luck would have it, he goes in with Cofagrigus. I guess he, uh, figured he could live it. And I figured, no, 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 Ghost, go away. I'm gonna crunch you, but he does survive it. Blah. At the very least, it's low enough for uh, Rotom to just Shadow Ball spam everything with Choice Specs, because uh, well, Rotom is faster than most of his faster is faster than all of his, in, than the rest of his Pokemon. He only has Scofagrius, uh, Rotom Cut, or I, what, what is it? Rotom Bow? I don't know what you guys call it. Is it well, Cut or Bow? Anyways, uh, let's get back to the match. Uh, Shadow Ball, yeah, we're gonna say goodbye to that. Mummified thingy magic. And I look I like Kofagus. Lot. Um so yeah, I'm figuring okay, Rotom sweep. Yeah, baby. So he goes in Rotom Mo, why whatever. Anyways, Rotom Mo, he has I find out he's scarfed right here, so blah, it sucks. Cause that's gonna knock out my poor Rotom. And I was hoping for a Rotom sweep. Blah. Sad. That I know, folks. At the very least, uh, it's still gonna be my game because uh, if he switches out, you know, I still have Steelix, because so that means he can't use any electric attacks. He's gonna have to stick with Leaf Storm. He could have switched out, but you know, Galley would have whacked the next Pokemon coming in. We're in close combat, and as you know, his last Pokemon is a Hitmonchan that's almost dead. So yes, uh, that was a very great game, Tamp Red. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, as you all should. Otherwise, I might bang you on small gun. No, I'm kidding. I won't do that. That's very sad. To have said that, anyways. So yeah, shiny him on Chen. Back in, probably one HP. Just shadow sneak it. Yeah, this is Galliard is pretty a is pretty much a badass. It's like, you know, that, that looked like you flipped him off, Galliard. That's pretty sad. 
So yeah, uh, you'll be going to Nationals over in Indianapolis. Uh, hope to see you there. Say hi to me. I may be a weirdo. But then again, we're all weirdos, especially if we're grown men playing Pokemon at this day and age. But yeah, I don't know what else to say. Yeah, VGC should be fun. Uh, I hear I'm hearing a lot of stories about past VGCs. Um, suffice to say, I'm pretty excited about this one. So yeah, later. Peace.